One of the biggest problems associated with CPAP in an emergency is a loss of power. UPS power supplies only last for a brief time. Generators use fuel that may be difficult to find in a crisis. This video will show you how to build an inexpensive solar solution that will power your CPAP for many weeks. Here are the four components you will need. A Thunderbolt Magnum Solar Panel Kit. A Mighty Max 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. A 12 volt power socket with fuse. And a pair of wired mini battery clamps. This is a 100 watt solar panel kit consisting of four 25 watt panels for flexibility. They are amorphous silicone solar panels, so direct aiming at the sun is not necessary. In the kit is a controller and a wiring harness that connects the four cables together. Here is a close-up of the wiring harness. Attach the end piece. Insert the end piece into the solar charge controller. Attach the 12 volt power socket with fuse to the controller. With the unit facing you, use the terminals on the right, which has a light bulb icon. Red is positive, black is negative. Attach the battery clamp wires to the controller the same way as before. You will see an icon of a battery. Attach the battery clamps to the battery. You will see the controller start in the normal mode. The enclosed manual will show you all of the modes. For this demonstration and almost always, you will use the normal mode. As you see here, you can test it with the enclosed light bulb. Now, you can set up your CPAP following the manufacturer's guidelines for 12 volt use. In this example, we are using a ResMed AirSense 10 with a humidifier and the ResMed 12 volt power converter. This setup should work with any piece of medical equipment that has a 12 volt plug. As you can see, it works perfectly. This is a very practical setup. It does not require a gas generator and all the problems associated with its use. This machine has been running for over 48 hours, something you should never have to do in real life.